big news for West Virginia men's basketball. Raekwon Battle has had his waiver for immediate eligibility denied by the NCAA. Of course, West Virginia will appear, appeal. So we have to wait and see what happens. But this is big news here because he was supposed to be like one of the better players. And he remember, Raekwon is a two-time transfer. He was at Washington and then Montana State. And it brings their depth potentially down to 12 players. Here, I mean, that's the truth. When you look at the number of players overall. And I'm going to go over, like, the numbers as well for Waycron. I know it was at Montana State. 17.7 points per game. 35.3% from the three-point line on 150 attempts. 83.3% from the free throw line on 144 attempts. 2.9 rebounds per game. 0.8 steals per game, 2.3 fouls per game, 1.5 turnovers per game. That's just some stats right there. And he's a 6 foot 5 inch, 195 pound guard. That's a that is a senior. And we know that West Virginia was picked in a preseason poll for the Big 12 ninth, and that's probably why they they didn't know about his status. So maybe there is a way that they could finish higher still, but. We'll have to wait and see if Raekwon really gets his waiver for sure because it's initially denied, but West Virginia will appeal, of course. And I'm going to go over like the non con. Uh, just, of course, we know the conference slate is not going to be that easy as a, like for the Big 12 per, nor, per usual because the Big 12 is the best conference in men's basketball. As you can tell, in, in terms of NCAA tournament teams for West Virginia, they have to play 11 of those games, and six of those are on the road. So, as we all know, they have Missouri State in a non-conference, Monmouth, Jacksonville State, SMU. They either play Virginia, that's an NCAA tournament team, or Wisconsin, that's an NCAA tournament There's Bethlehemine. St. John's, that's kind of interesting with Rick Pitino as head coach. They even have Pitt, that's an NCAA tournament team. Drexel, UMass, Radford, Toledo, Ohio State. That's just name some non-conference -com games right there. And there might have been more NCAA tournament teams than I realize, but you get, but you get the point. It does affect their outlook for the team a little bit. They do have to play Houston at Houston, and then Kansas State and Texas at home, on the road to Oklahoma at home against Kansas. They have to go on the road to UCF, on the road to Oklahoma State, home against Cincinnati, home against BYU. But you get the conference slate, and then Texas at home. I mean, on the road, on the road to TCU at home against Baylor, at home against UCF, on the road to Iowa State at T Kansas State. Home against Texas Tech, home against West Virginia, I mean TCU, then finish at Cincinnati. So we're going to have to wait and see if Raekwon does play, uh, get a waiver, not denied again, but because I know West Virginia is trying to appeal, but this is big for them because if they would have had him, they could be a contender for the top half of the league. And I'm being dead serious about that. Because when you look at the roster, they are, they have some talent. It's just, and I know it's an unusual situation with no Bob Huggins and they have an interim in Josh Ehlert. But you get the point here, guy, everyone, on this. This was probably one of the better players on the team, as we all know. And they still have Kirk Creasa, which helps. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. And we know the basketball season is going to start November 6th. In fact, I know West Virginia does have a practice game coming up on October 27th. So four days away. So we'll know by then. And 
but or even during sometime during the season we'll have to wait and see when the waiver does get cleared or if it does not get cleared when they're going to announce that because it does affect things for West Virginia and there's no question about it and it does affect the Big 12 as we all know this team could have been potentially in the NCAA tournament maybe they are still even without Raekwon but we'll have to wait and see so anyways if you like this content like and subscribe and see you guys later on the road 600 subscribers of course the ultimate goal is a thousand so I can make money off this or more on a on a thousand or more of course liking the video comment the video watching the video really helps you too I so more people can see it if you're watching and not subscribe please subscribe of course if you it w I wouldn't mind y'all sharing the videos too because it does help broaden the audience and more people can see it that way and hit the notification bell as well